Hope is one of the most essential things for those going through really terrible situations. They aspire to higher results in their pursuits or their future. Aboard Hijack Season 1 Episode 5, passengers aboard KA-29 had a dream that was so close to being realized that they could almost taste it. It then vanished into thin air. No metaphor intended, just as suddenly as it had appeared. While that question was always on our thoughts, it had no bearing on the tale, since Hijack had worked to keep the motives for this hijacking a secret for as long as possible. Demands were placed on the British government's desk, and the crew discovered who was responsible for the hijacking and their objectives via them. Due to their diversity, we made some educated guesses about who the hijackers may have been in our review of the first episode of the Hijack series but none of them came true. And we did so because we believed they were pursuing a worthy cause. However, as Hijack Season 1 went on, the nobles began to disappear as they made threats and killed people. It was disappointing to learn that they had just been deployed as spies to pressure the British government into freeing some extremely awful individuals when the show eventually revealed why they had hijacked the plane. A family discovery put the commander in a precarious position where he had to decide whether to continue to the objective or save his brother. He made the choice that everyone would have chosen for their families. This episode focused heavily on family and the extent individuals will go to protect it. On Hijack Season 1 Episode 1, Sam and his family's problems served as the catalyst. Two hijackers were now risking everything to save a brother. When we went back to Dubai, the whole story of what happened before Final Call was made clear. It provided some answers on how the hijackers were able to board the aircraft, despite the airport having strict security. The wife was making an effort to save her spouse. No one loves nosy neighbors because they often get involved in matters that are none of their business, yet occasionally having inquisitive neighbors may be advantageous. Neighbors may learn a lot about you and your routine by simply keeping an eye on you. So hers noticed something was odd. The most recent action Sam took on Hijack Season 1 was trying to land the jet in Hungary. Sam is only a corporate negotiator, isn't he? We only know that about him, and it seemed as though he was employed by MI6. While Sam seems careless, it is true that some people do better than others under pressure. Even though he had never dealt with issues this delicate before, he acted as though he had. Because one can only get away with so much, he started to anger not only the hijackers, but also the watchers. Even though what he did should have resulted in a gunshot, he received none. In another location, suits were staking people's lives on a circular table. It is always strange when a group chooses the futures of others while sitting on the top level of a skyscraper. It's a pleasure to be able to make choices that have a greater impact on someone else's life than your own so don't take it for granted. An elite reaction team would understand better than to board a plane without any prior knowledge of the hijacker's identities or numbers. If they had carried out their plan, they could have caused more harm than good. Despite the fact that the plane's return to cruising altitude was terrifying for the majority of passengers, it might have been for the best. It is impossible to overestimate the brutality of organized crime. Nobody is exempt from the repercussions that result from inappropriate behavior. The hijackers acted with a sense of dread, which at first I mistakenly interpreted as commitment, since it seemed like a passion. It was easier to see why everyone was eager to oppose their apparent boss, if he didn't keep to the plan. After learning who they worked for, each and every move anybody made on that plane had repercussions. When two of its citizens are slain, would the UAE reciprocate? Should the government comply with the demands of the abductors? Post your ideas in the comments area. Please leave your remarks in the space provided below. If you enjoy the video, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more breakdowns. I appreciate you watching, and we can discuss more later.